I have a lot of expectations closing into the Benin border. Um, I don't know if they're going to take money before they stamp us into the country or it is going to be free because according to ECOWAS, the treaty we have is supposed to be free. My name is Gosh. What's up? Um, it's been a very interesting um, stay here in Palimi, 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 here in Togo. Uh, I've not really done a lot in this town. Uh, I only spend a lot of time editing videos and all that. Uh, we've been here for the past two days and this morning we are set. We are heading to the next town called Atakwami. I don't really know what is in the town. I mean, I'm not really expecting that much. It's been really hard filming here in Togo because it's a French-speaking country. So, I mean, it's really hard, hard to have conversations. So, um, today by hook or crook, we might get um, to Benin, also a French-speaking country. And then maybe be there for a day or two, see what we can get around there. And then Nigeria probably that is where we will get a lot of things to talk about and also really vibe with the people so uh, so yeah is here we actually started a journey but of course fuel is uh, I think he's on half tank so he needs to refuel fill it up and then we can continue the journey we don't know what is ahead of this road if we will get um, fuel to refill or not so for him to be at the safer side, he's going back to go and finish. We will continue the journey. So, um, so far, so good. Let's see. I have a lot of expectations closing into the Benin border. Um, I don't know if they're going to take money before they stamp us into the country or it is going to be free because, according to ECOWAS, the treaty we have is supposed to be free, but it wasn't like so in uh, the Ghana Togo border. If you've not seen the video, I've put it in the uh, it's on the YouTube channel. Check it out. Also, hit the like, um, hit the like button, and then subscribe to this. Uh, subscribe to the channel because a whole lot is coming. Also, add your voice to the Bottomless Africa campaign. Of course, here, and I think uh, collectively, our voice will be heard. Now we go now. There we go again. It's a very cold Wednesday morning, and this place already looks like a tropical rainforest area. You know, one thing that you get to admire about this place is the road network. It's it's really, really, really awesome, and it's a very calm community with um, a lot of people minding their own businesses and all that. And it also looks like a farming community. That's it. A car riding behind us. You should know when you are riding on a road like this, there is some sort of a freshness you get to feel, especially in the mornings like this. Exactly what I'm feeling right now. And then you can take a look at the mountains. They have also deliberately planted some trees around here, like the light pole, the trees that are used for light poles and all that yeah uh, just take a look at the road one good thing the government of benin has done is uh, this network of roads they have built in the country it connects the rural area to the urban area and so it means that the farmers will have it easy to transport their produce into the city without stress <laughs>
and then here we are almost in Atakwami. It is the curvature of the road that introduces you into the town. So um, when one is driving and you've not really used this place before, you're going to be really careful. But it is a very beautiful road that ushers you into the town. Here we're making a stop over to take some pictures. So I was suggesting that we get to camp here in Atakwami and continue the journey but there is a lot ahead so we kept going uh, we wanted to get into benin the same day look for an accommodation there and continue one thing that uh, is a is a big turn of getting into atapame is all this trash you see around here um, i think they should get a dedicated place where they can dispose um, waste and all that but aside that it is a very calm beautiful vibrant community I don't know if we got here during a market day or what, but it was the street was really busy, bustling and all that, and also clean. The street itself is actually clean. It's just that is when you are entering the town, then you get to see all this um, dirt piled up over there. Now about Atakpame, it is the fifth largest city in Togo by population 84,979 inhabitants. That was the 2006 population census. It is located in the plateau region of Togo. Here is an industrial center and lies on the main north-south highway, 161 kilometers north of the capital, Lomé. It is also a regional commercial center for produce and clothes. Atakpame has a tropical savanna climate characterized by a short dry season with the northeastly Hamatan trade winds from November to February and a lengthy though not intense wet season between March and October. If you're considering living in this town, this is the brief info about the climate condition of Atakpame. We had to make a stop over here because a coordinator to fix some spokes. We are here now at uh, Kwame. The journey has been really um, awesome. I think we actually landed at a very good place. I mean, stopped at a very good place because uh, we are right in front of Absonic. A call needs to fix his bike, the spokes. And then hopefully we will continue the journey to uh -huh. He has some broken spokes and he needed to fix them over here. So um, we are here at Absonic. You know he's riding an Absonic bike, so I'll see you on our way to Berlin. Now everything is set and done. Of course, bike is back to normal. We're closing in to Benin right now, still in Atakpame. Once in a while we come across something that we want to buy, we just make a quick stop over, grab it and keep going. Now one dangerous thing about this road is that it's, it's, it's more like an international road, like a very very busy road that plies really huge tracks. I think in the next video I am going to show you how, um, how um, busy this road is and the kind of vehicle that plies this road. Like I said, here is more like a tropical area, a rainforest 
um, community because the greens here are really intense. That is it. We are closing in to Benin. So um, I'm going to see you again very soon, showing you um, how extensive some dangerous drivings and some accident and all that on this road. I'll see you again. If Bottleless Africa is something that you can relate with, please give this video a thumbs up, hit on the subscribe button, and I'll see you again very soon.